the coronavirus is making life difficult for this seller. Andy, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. Uh, during the corona coronavirus outbreak, I am, of course, coming to you live from my house. And Andy, my man, that is uh, going to play a big role in what you and I are doing, right? What you and I are doing right now today has a lot to do with the coronavirus. I think you may actually... Um, be able to be in a position to to swoop in and, and make yourself a, a pretty solid deal here because the coronavirus is just wrecking the plans of this particular real estate agent who's trying to sell this property and uh it's it's a it's a nice duplex and it's in in an area where uh, we have a nice college so it's kind of like a student rental and i've got a second property later in the video that's is in a different college town uh, but it kind of ties into it, so I wanted uh, to show you that. So let's get into the address. 500 Pearl Street, Berea, Ohio, 44017. This is listed at $165,000 by an agent from a company called Golden Realty. Now, um, very important to note, Andy, that you, um, after our previous video, I gave you my list of lenders. You are a foreign national. You live in Korea. You're a Korean citizen. You own property in Korea, and you're trying to invest three hundred thousand here in the Cleveland market, and you're interested in financing. So after I sent that to you, um, you reached out to all those folks. I think you even reached out to a couple other uh, folks uh, that you found contacts for, and you did find a lender who's willing to do a loan for you, but the purchase price must be $145,000 or more. So that's what led me to this property. And in addition to this property hitting um, your, your pricing minimum, so you can actually use this financing, uh, the coronavirus is just, it's wreaking havoc on the seller, right? This is priced at $165,000. And under normal circumstances, I'm going to tell you, that is a great price for this particular property. Under normal circumstances, I would say, dude, we got to make an offer, $165,000 right now. However, what has transpired is the listing agent and the seller have been trying to show this particular property. It's been on the market for eight days and they've received a ton of requests for agents who want to show this particular property. That's for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, it's priced right. This is a great price for this property. This is a beautiful B-class neighborhood right next to a college called Baldwin Wallace and that's gonna come into play a little bit later. Um, addition to that, it's a side-by-side -side duplex. That is my favorite type of duplex layout. Up and down, you know, there's nothing wrong with it per se, but you always have somebody living below and somebody living above another person. So what that leads to is the people on the bottom complaining they're making noise, people on the top complaining they're making noise, yada, yada, yada. So if you ever have the opportunity to buy a multifamily home and get a side-by-side -side layout, that is preferred. However, the housing stock we've got here in the Cleveland market probably 98% of them are going to be the up-down layout. So that's just what we're dealing with. Um, but every now and again, you see some buildings that are the side-by-side -side layout. So you got to swoop on that. So the price is great. The layout's great. And then the last reason why there is going to be so uh, many agents trying to show this right now is the majority of agents in this market, they're used to um, dealing with residential real estate, right? That's like what 99.9% .9 of agents out there do, man. They think real estate is, hey, you're a client, you want to buy a house. Great, I'm going to go show you the house, and then you're going to move your family in, right? But this is a rental property. It's got two tenants in there. It's a totally different ballgame. That's not how we roll here at Holden Wise. Um, but that's what the majority of agents out there are used to dealing with. And the tenants have refused all showings. They are just battling it out with their landlord. They're like, no. Uh, they said, no, there's a coronavirus pandemic. We are not allowing random people to show up in our home. And like, dude, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm not, I'm not going to fault the tenants in any way. Uh, you know, I, there's no scenario where you could expect a rational human being uh, during a 
worldwide viral pandemic to allow just random people to 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 walk inside their home that's just uh that's insanity so because of all that the seller and the agent they're very frustrated they've put out notes they've let our team know that hey we need an as is offer we're trying not to do showings we do not want to show this property we can't show this property we don't know what else to do looks like the agent's in a little over our head um, dealing with rental properties. And then of course you, you put on top of that, the pandemic. So because of that, normally Andy, I'd say 165, that's what you got to pay brother. But right now we're going to try to go down to your minimum. We're going to try to get a discount. We're going to try to put in an as is offer of $145,000. Currently we've got two tenants in there. They're both two bedroom, two bathroom units, and they're both paying 750. So it's currently bringing in 1500 a month or $18,000 a year. Now, I said earlier, this is a college town. So that number is going to go up later, but I'll get into that uh, at, towards the end of this analysis. What I want to do now is show you what you're going to get if you pick it up right now at $145,000 and you keep these two existing $750 tenants. So you're going to be bringing in eighteen dollars a year. Your cost every month, we're going to budget $75 for repairs and maintenance, $75 for vacancy and not payment, $75 for capex. 362 for taxes. Insurance, Andy, you know it, but anybody else watching this video, click the show notes below. My team, we own a farmer's business. We will be able to quote you guys uh, an insurance policy for any of your rentals. Doesn't matter if they're here in Cleveland, anywhere in the United States. We are actually appointed with farmers and several other independent uh, insurance providers, and we are able to get you guys the lowest possible premiums. All we do is work with landlords and try to beat down your premiums. So even though we're going to have you know, $145,000 property here, big old property like this, we'll still be able to insure it for about a hundred bucks a month. Water sewer, 150, lawn care, 44, PM, 75. So all told on average, Andy, this should be bringing in 956 a month. Or I'm sorry, the, the costs all told, it should be bringing in 15 a month, but your costs all told are going to be on average 956. So your actual NOI is going to be 544. Furthering the analysis, you were able uh, to find a lender to give you a loan so long as we keep the purchase price at $145,000 or more. So if we pick it up at one hundred forty-five, dollars 45 because again, man, you have the ability to go in there and make this offer. You're in Korea. You're not going to be doing a showing on it anyway. And they want an as-is offer, but, but here's the cool thing, right? Now, if you are a brand new investor, I, I would say, oh, dude, don't do an as is offer. We got to do all our due diligence, all our due diligence. But look, this, you're new to investing in America, in Cleveland, but you know, you're a seasoned landlord from Korea. So you understand uh, the rental game. And here's the thing. We have built in due diligence. I am confident that it's low risk for you to make an as is offer because you're using that financing because that bank is still going to require an appraisal. So it allows us to get in there, make them this offer $20,000 less than what the property is worth in my opinion, because they're happy because we don't want to do a showing and we don't want to do an inspection, but you're still going to get your due diligence because the bank is still going to do that appraisal. An appraisal is very similar to a home inspection. So they're going to go in. So if there's any structural defects with this home, you know, they're going to flag it and they're not going to, they're not going to, they're not going to loan you the money. Cause here's the deal, right? If you pick it up at 145,000, you're only going to be putting in 36,250. The bank's the one who's putting in the, the, all the money here. They're putting in 108,000. They're putting in three times the amount of money you're putting in. So they care a lot more uh, about the risk level of this investment than you do because they got three times what you've got into it. So that bank is, is really going to be doing a lot of the, the dirty work and the, and, the, and the grunt work and taking on a lot of that risk for you. Now, just so you know, uh, I got that number 36,250 as a down payment. Cause that's what 30 year loans are, are traditionally. I don't know the exact terms, uh, that you have negotiated with the lender you're planning on using because you are a foreign national. So it's very possible your interest rate might be a little higher or maybe your down payments a little higher, but just giving you a ballpark idea of where we're at. So with those particular terms, picking up at 145,000, it's a four and a half cap and it's a 3% cash on cash return. Now, 
you were probably liking everything about this particular property until I just gave you those numbers. You're like, hell yeah, James, $20,000 less than it's supposed to be. Great neighborhood, B-class neighborhood, side-by-side -side layout. I love everything about this, but oh, dude, you lost me at 3% cash on cash return. That's where the college is going to come into play, okay? This property is literally right down the street from Baldwin Wallace, okay? Baldwin Wallace is a very popular, expensive private college here in the Cleveland market. Now, the particular um, tenants that are currently living in this property do not appear to be college students. I believe that going forward, the move is to eventually remove these folks and put college students in there. If we put college students in there, we're going to be able to rent this for a thousand bucks a unit easily. Okay. So bringing in 1500 bucks a month is one thing, but we're going to easily be able to bring in $2,000 a month going forward. So we're going to get the nice discounted price right now. And you know, the move, right, Andy, the move isn't to just as soon as you take it over, immediately kick those two $750 tenants out and then spend, you know, because we're probably, we're going to have to make it nice and modern, look good for these college kids. So you're probably going to be spending anywhere between like $5,000 and $9,000 to deck out these units, right? We don't have pictures at the moment of the inside of the units because the tenants aren't letting anybody in there. Um, so we're just going to have to to make the purchase um, knowing that at turnover, you're going to have to spend a bunch of money. But hey, dude, you don't get to increase the rent $250 a month per unit without upgrading the unit. That's just not how the cookie crumbles, my man. So, you know, we got to understand that that's going to be baked into the pie here. But once we do that, we're going to be able to bring in $2,000 a month going forward. That is drastically going to increase our cash on cash numbers. Like right now, as it sits, you buy it, you're going to be cash flowing about $89 a month. But when we get the two tenants in there, our costs aren't really going to go up, but our rent's going way up. So that $89 a month becomes almost $600 a month. That, my friend, is going to be a solid, solid deal. Um, but again, as I said, though, we don't want to just immediately knock these folks out. So what the move is going to be, you take it over, let the leases run out, and then when we renew them, we just increase their rent like 100 bucks here, 50 bucks there, right? And let's let them stay and keep getting us closer to our market rents until they eventually naturally turn over. Then when they naturally turn over, then we'll have you spend the money, and then we'll get you that market rent. But you never want to just to try to chase 250 bucks a month right now, immediately remove an income stream in an effort effort uh, to just spend five to ten thousand dollars that wouldn't make any damn sense so the fact that it cash flows right now as it sits at a three percent cash on cash return is good for you because you have the ability to just take it over keep things easy and then slowly get that income up but you know let those tenants pay off that mortgage for you right now so because of that man i think this is a solid deal now another option you have too is i believe with doing the financing and the fact that the only time anybody would ever need to get into this property would be at the appraisal, I think the sellers would probably jump on your $20,000 discount. Another move you could make, which is a lot more high risk though, um, would be to say, hey, instead of uh, 145, sell it to me for you know 115 as is, no questions asked. We'll never take a look at it. We'll never go inside at all. But that's very risky because you're not getting that appraisal so you, you don't ever get an opportunity to see what's inside the home. But if you do it that way, you might be able to really steal a good deal. You know, if you come in like, hey, I got cash. I'll close this in 10 days. Um, no questions asked. You don't even have to tell your tenants, blah, 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 blah. You might get the seller to push off uh, their price even more. But I just want you to know there's some, there's some serious risk. You're taking a gamble, right? You know, at least with the financing aspect. When the appraiser gets in there, if he gets in there and he gets in that basement and there's a, a major structural issue, like we got a huge bowing wall or something that's going to cost you approximately $100 a foot to dig that bad boy out, you know, it's going to protect you from that loss. So I'd probably still go to go with the financing route, but I just want to let you know, if, if you want to get really aggressive here because you are a seasoned investor in Korea, that's a possibility and we might be able to squeeze out you know, an even larger discount, but I'm going to leave that up to you. So when you get this video from my team, let us know your thoughts and, and let us know which way you're thinking. Cause uh, either way though, I think this one is really going to make sense for what you're trying to do.
What we've got to do now is go to a quick word from the sponsors of today's show. Then I'm going to get into the second property I found for you. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. All right, Andy, welcome back. Now, the second one that I've pulled up for you, this is also going to be in a college town, okay? Same deal, right? We are well above the $145,000 price point, so you can utilize this loan. Now, admittedly, the cash, the cash flow numbers on this next deal are not that great, and they might not be enticing to you, but I felt it was important to show you this particular property because it's just a, a great example of the housing stock we've got out here in the Cleveland market. Now, the high cash cash flow and cash on cash return numbers we've got out here, primarily those are going to be in the C class neighborhoods. And the housing stock for that, like our duplexes, you know, we're going to be sub 100K, right? We're going to be under 100K. So once you get up into the above $145,000 price point, you're going to get a lot of properties that are going to be priced like this. Yes, the rents are higher, but some of these suburbs also have higher taxes. And a lot of the market is actually driven by owner occupied buyers who, even though these are multifamily, they're living in one unit and having their tenants pay off the rent uh, by renting the other ones. So the cash flow numbers are not that great. Um, but, you know, the, the other you know, types of buyers that are in this asset class are going to continue to pull that price point up. So there's just a ton of inventory very similar to this in this particular city. Uh, Cleveland Heights is where this one's located. And there's another city called Lakewood, which you can get a lot of properties priced very similar to this with rents uh, very similar to this, risk profile of tenants very similar. Uh, but it's going to be lower on your cash flow. Um, so I don't know if you're going to actually want to make a move on this. If you do, I've got a ton of inventory out here at our fingertips that is similar to this. Um, but if you don't, we may need to adjust, um, you know, what you're, what you're trying to do with this loan, maybe go back into the idea of buying cash and then doing one big blanket refinance later, because once we're above the 150K range, this is the cash flow numbers we've got. So 2621 Idlewood, Cleveland Heights, 44118. Priced $239,900. I think that price is too high, by the way. All right, this is uh, listed by a Howard Hanna agent. They originally listed this at $250,000. They just dropped it down 10 k to $239,900. Uh, but I still think that is too expensive for this particular property. So the price that I think this property is worth, what I'd like to see you uh, hit this property at is $200,000. $10,000. That isn't like a coronavirus discount or anything of that nature. We've only got one tenant. Uh, this is a triplex. One unit's occupied. The other two are vacant and they're looking very good. Uh, that's just what this particular property is worth, right? And the, the seller's not distressed. The market's very, very nice. Another great B-class neighborhood. Um, and, the, and the property's in very good condition. So um, that, that would be the price we would need to take it down. What would we get as far as rent goes if you took it down? Well, the one unit, unit number one, already occupied at $1,015 a month. So the second unit, 
A similar unit, I would say we'll be able to easily get another 1,015 there. And then the third unit, we should be able to get 725 out of that unit. Now that's going to bring in a total of 2,755 or $33,060 a year. Now, as far as expenses go, you know, we've got the same stuff, right? Repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, capital expenditures. We're going to do 137 for all those. This is going to be the big game changer, though, in a, in a, in a neighborhood like this, right? The tax rate. This isn't um, going to be uh, as low as a lot of the other suburbs or Cleveland proper here. This is Cleveland Heights, one of the highest tax rates. So the taxes are going to be $876 a month because the tax rate is just so much higher. And of course, we got a valuation that's much higher. So that is going to affect our cash flow considerably. Insurance, my team, again, guys, you want to lower your insurance, click the notes in the, in the show notes below right here on YouTube. I want you to click in there and we could lower your insurance premiums. We should be able to insure this big old expensive house for still roughly a hundred bucks a month. Water sewer, 225, lawn care, 44, PM, 272. You do get a little bit of a break on PM for anything that rents over a thousand, right? We cap our PM fees at a hundred bucks a month per unit. So you are saving a little bit off that 10% property management fee. So on average of that 2755, you should be bringing in you're going to be spending approximately 1931 and a lot of that of course is our taxes so our NOI becomes 824 a year or almost 10,000 824 a month rather or almost $10,000 a year so if you picked it up at $210,000 right you're bringing in almost 10k that's a 4.7 cap not amazing but it's still respectable and here's the thing you got to understand this is also a college town right this is a different type of, uh, well, it's not a college town, but it's very close to colleges. Different kind of colleges though, right? We are close to John Carroll, but what we're also close to with this particular property is Case Western. That's what keeps the rent so high over here. We see a lot of um, Case Western students, right? We're talking like grad students, medical students, right? Folks that are working in like uh, all the hospitals, right? Like this is a hop, skip, and a jump from university hospitals, right? So you get, you might even get some like early residents, right? Don't think that if you buy this particular property, like doctors making four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars a year are going to stay and rent your duplex. That ain't going to happen, but you might get some very first year residents in there, right? So you're always going to have high quality tenants just because of this location. But again, incredibly nice city with all of that good stuff is going to come a cost and that cost is our taxes. But, you know, it's a trade-off, man. You're trying to get a loan so you can stretch your funds. I mean, if we do get a loan on this bad boy, you're getting $157,000 lent to you by the bank. And those high quality tenants, those tenants that are not really going to be bringing a lot of riffraff, right? It's not often we get grad students uh, in first year medical residents um, appearing on our tenants from hell show, right? These are just incredibly responsible adults, right? So we're not chasing down rent. We're not doing a, a ton of evictions. We're not seeing drug overdoses or people fucking the properties up, right? So, you know, the cash flow numbers, you're sacrificing it there, but hey, man, you're getting peace of mind and you're just getting a slow and steady, consistent return. You're getting that big old $157,000 mortgage paid off on an incredibly consistent basis. And to boot, you're still getting. 160 bucks a month in cash flow. So yeah, it's a 3.7% cash on cash return, but you know, it's a solid property, solid neighborhood. And that is just what we've got in regards to our housing stock out here. So I don't know if Andy, that's going to make you want to adjust what you want to do, because you know, when you're looking to do a minimum of $145,000, these are the types of price points and price to rent ratios we're going to be seeing. So if you like this, if this is appealing to you, we can make a move on this property. And you know, there's probably a handful of similar duplexes priced that exact way here in Cleveland Heights. You'll get the same type of folks attracted to Case Western. In addition, another neighborhood that we're going to want to target for you would be Lakewood. We're going to see a ton of duplexes where the rents are going to be approximately a thousand a month, but the price points are going to be hovering uh, just above 200k. So some investors are interested in that because of the safety and the ease of use. Other investors are not. One more thing I do want to bring to your attention with this particular duplex is it does not have a normal forced air furnace. When you watch a lot of my shows, I talk about the costs, right? 
forced air furnaces, they typically cost about $3,000 to replace, and you got to replace them every 30 years. Looking at this photo right here next to the hot water tanks, what we've got there, that's not a forced air furnace. That is a boiler. I'm sure you noticed some of the radiators and a lot of the other pictures of this property. Now, with boiler heat, um, that is a little bit more expensive when you have to replace it. The boiler is going to have a similar life expectancy as a forced air furnace, but the cost to replace it can get higher. And when you start to, to replace your boiler system, just so you know, like sometimes the pipes are going to start leaking because it's steam heat, right? Um, so sometimes you have to replace the boiler system itself and then you have to start messing with the pipes and and the price point can jump up right it can be as little as like five six thousand dollars to replace one of these but it could also jump up in the ten thousand dollar or so range so i wanted to bring that to your attention one thing that was not made clear to us is if there is separate boilers for each unit i cannot tell uh, it appears to me there are because i see some other piping coming down behind the hot water tank. So I'm assuming there is separate boilers for each of the units. If there's not, that means you would need to pay for the tenant's gas bill. If you did that, we would be able to make up for that though with additional rents, right? Because the rents that I've quoted you, 1015 you know, that's fairly simple to get in this particular neighborhood with the tenants paying for their gas and electric. If you ended up paying for their heat, uh, we would probably be able to tack on another $100, $125 or so a month to each of those units to make up for that. Now, I know they didn't do that with unit one, but I'm talking like in the future for market rent, things of that nature. And then that small unit, you know, maybe not $100, $125, but we'd probably be able to tack on another $75 or so if there is, in fact, only one boiler. Again, it's, it's hard for me to tell from this photo, but that's something we would find out at the inspection but either way we'd be able to make up for that uh with just billing that out to the tenants again too we're dealing with incredibly responsible tenants who comprehend uh these types of things and we don't really have to worry about the tenants shorting us or, or this or that and again i don't see this particular property ending up on the tenants from hell show so those are the two properties um, that I wanted to get out to you today after you had made it clear to me that you did get your uh, loan financing set up and you have to be above 145000 So let me know where you want to be, what you want to do, and uh, we can make the next video going from there. Do we continue on? aiming at this price point, hitting these high class B class neighborhood property, you know, high quality B class properties with high quality tenants that does have a little bit lower cash flow. Or do we want to go back into the lower cost stuff, pay cash now, get the higher cash flow and try to do a blanket refinance. You let me know for everybody else out there who's interested in um, investing and working with my team one-on-one, -on -one, what you want to do is you want to go to holtonwise.com, click the property for sale tab, scroll down to the MLS search and analysis show and order yourself um, some MLS search and analysis products like this one. You'll be able to work with me and my team one-on-one -on -one just like Andy did. And Andy, one more thing that I want to mention really quickly. Uh, Cleveland Heights has what's called a point of sale violation system, which means anytime a seller sells a property, the city will inspect that property for any city violations. And then the buyer has to either assume those or the seller has to clear those off uh, before the seller could uh, sell the particular property. I've got more info on the point of sale process in the show notes below. So if you're more curious about that, check that. I don't want to burn up a bunch of your time right now explaining it because I don't think it's very applicable here because based upon the pictures, the condition of this property, I would assume it's already POS clear. If it's not based upon the price the seller is asking us uh, to pay here, even if we got it discounted and paid 210, because that's what I think it's worth. If it's POS clear, we should be able to get the seller to clear that off. So it shouldn't be anything you have to worry about. I just wanted to make sure I got that out there. And as we go forward, in this asset class and we look at more properties in Cleveland Heights, know that the point of sale could come into play. You could find a distressed property. Maybe that's the way we can pull out some type of a discount where you'll have to actually put up a bunch of additional funds in escrow. But if you're financing and we got a, a distressed property, that, that makes it a little tricky too. So, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of different ways we can take things here for you, right? So I, I want to know what you want to do, right? Do we want to go back to the cash route? Do we want to continue doing the finance route? 
Um, if so, you know, is this the particular neighborhood uh, that you're interested in? Are these price to rent ratios going to work for you? Let me know. That's all I've got for you today, though. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals. U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact, combined with the high price-to-rent ratio, is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee, as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.